Hi, this is Matthew with Retro Edge Tech, and I have a guide for how to change the behavior of the caps lock key. So as a result of all of the Linux exploration that I've been doing and having fun, I've been getting back into trying to learn how to use the Vim text editor, which has modes. Uh, now, I've known how to use the basics of Vim for a very long time. I've known how to start it, open a file, be able to get into the insert mode, make some changes, get out of the escape mode or insert mode, uh, and then be able to write those changes to the file and, and quit Vim. That's that's kind of a joke too, is that, um, you know, help, I don't know how to quit Vim is, is a common um, experience when you first try to use the Vim text editor. So, um, well, one of the keys to get out of the insert mode and a lot of the other things are to move around or escape out of a particular mode while you're in Vim is to use the escape key. Um, but the, the escape key is pretty far away from the home row and not easy to reach and type, while the caps lock key is almost never used but is on the home row. It's just to the left of the A key. So I'd like to show you how to change the behavior of caps lock so that when you press caps lock, instead of toggling the all caps on the keyboard, it instead presses the escape function, the same as the escape key. And I've done that so it makes it an additional escape key. So I've written this little guide, which is on my website, and I will link to this post um, in the description of the video. And I just go through and show some pictures and text on how to do that. But I'm going to demo that for you now. Um, before I do that, I just want to show you um, some of the Vim. Uh, so if uh, you're on Linux Mint, which is what I'm demoing this on, Linux Mint Cinnamon, and this guide uh, pertains to the Cinnamon desktop. So if you're using Cinnamon on Fedora or Manjaro, that'll work almost exactly the same way. The screenshots and this demo will help with those as well. I've done it on my Manjaro version of Cinnamon and that's where I did it first and it worked great there. So, um, but in the terminal, let's just see if we have Vim installed, which Vim, and it doesn't return anything. Um, or if I say, what is Vim? And uh, it, oh, it tells me that uh, Vim is an, an improved is Vi improved uh, programmer's text editor. That's interesting. I didn't know that what is would return uh, what that program is, even if it isn't installed. So you can see which Vim that program isn't installed. I don't have it on there. So on Linux Mint, because it's a Debian-based um, distribution uh, version of Linux, um, I can say sudo apt install Vim. And so sudo just gives me um, elevated privileges so that I can make system changes, so I can install an application. apt is the package manager. install is going to use the package manager to install something, and the package that I want to install is vim. Press enter. I'm going to enter my password. And it's going to, and this reads the package list. It's going to ask me for confirmation. I'm going to press Y for yes. And I can see that it's going to install Vim and Vim-Runtime are the two new packages that are going to be installed. Press Y and Enter. It's going to pull those down. Um, and now it's going to be extracting them and installing them. And so after this, I will have Vim installed. So now when I type, I'll just clear that out. So press type clear and enter. Clears all that information off. And now you can see just that, and then I can say which Vim, and it will tell me where Vim is located. Um, so let's change directory into documents. Um, and uh, now let's use Vim to make a document. V-I-M space document.txt. Now I'm in here, and if, if I try to just start typing, um, it, it won't work as I expect. Um, and uh, and I got into an insert mode, but it's not how I wanted to. Um, and now if I, if I press the caps lock, it's actually going to be caps lock and it will show all of those. Um, you know, or I think I toggled it again. There we go. Caps lock off. Caps lock, uh, there we go. Um, 
So let's escape, and then I can press DD to get rid of that line. Um, and uh, you can kind of see that I'd like the escape to, um, or the caps lock to be the escape. Now to get out of them, um, I, this is important to know, I'll press shift colon, brings up the colon, and then I'm just going to press Q exclamation point. And Q means quit, and the exclamation point it means that uh, quit even if there were changes and don't save those changes. So now I'm back out. So let's go and change the behavior of the caps lock key. So we're going to press the menu, the start menu there, or the mint menu. Um, and, uh, and then I'm going to type in keyboard. Keyboard, uh, after, I don't have to type the whole word, but you can see that the keyboard setting there is highlighted. I'm going to press enter, and it's going to launch this. And then I can, I'm going to select the layouts pane. And then at the bottom of the layouts pane, the bottom right corner, there is going to view and edit keyboard layout options. I'm going to click on that. And there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can do. The only one that I'm interested in right now is changing that caps lock behavior. So I'm going to click that arrow. And the default, of course, is with the caps lock. And I'm going to look down here and see if I can find what I'm looking for. Yep, there it is. Make caps lock an additional escape. So there we go. Now I'm going to close that out, close that out. Now when we go back to Vim, I can do Vim documents. Um, and now when I can insert, and then I'm going to, this, this is some example text. And then I'm just going to add a quote. And then um, instead of reaching up and pressing the escape key, I'm just going to put my pinky over to the left and press the caps lock key, which gets me out of the insert mode. And so some fun things that I learned. Um, so um, I'm going to change in quotes. So C I quote, and it erases what's in the quote and puts me into insert mode. And then I can write something different in the quotes and then press the caps lock key again because now it's mapped to escape. So caps lock behaves as an additional escape key now. And then I can press shift colon and down at the bottom of the screen it's waiting for a command. And this time I'll type W for write and then Q for quit. And now um, I can see that I've written uh, the document dot txt there. And then if I, you know, Use a command to view it. There we go. Or if I cat it out to just standard output, there it is. So that is all that I've got, just a review of that. And if you'd like to follow along, um, I've got this blog post. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.